Hey everybody, Dr. Green here. In this video, I am going to show you how to effectively clone HTTPS repositories uh, from GitLab using a personal authorization token um, and also how to set up the GitLab workflow extension. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna go over here and do extensions. Uh, as we've done in previous videos, go ahead and type in GitLab, make sure GitLab workflow is installed. You'll still uh, see I already have this installed. Um, so we're in good shape. The second thing you wanna do is pop over to GitLab. Um, so you'll see I'm in my repository here. And what we wanna do and what a lot of you wanna do is you wanna clone via HTTPS because it's a little easier than setting up SSH keys. Uh, and that is all good. The way we do that is the first thing we do is find our profile. So find your picture wherever it is on the screen, click on that and go to preferences. Then we're gonna to go to access tokens. Uh, these are personal access tokens. You can think of these as a substitute password. Um, so I'm gonna create a CS5010 token today. Um, I've created multiple of these before, so I have to keep renaming them. I would just call it a CS5010 token if I were you. Uh, go ahead in and change the date to the end of this class. Make sure you grant it read and write repository access and say create personal access token. Um, it will create this nice token up here. You'll see we have a token created and we can go ahead and copy that. You wanna keep that in a safe place. Don't lose it um, or else it may cause you some problems. Treat it just like a password. I keep all these in my password keepers. You'll see at the top of my browser, I use Bitwarden at the moment. Um, but make sure you save it, um, all those good things so that you're able to use it. Now we can go back to our repository. We can go to clone and we can say clone via HTTPS. We can go ahead and we can do this in VS Code. Uh, go into desktop, that's great. Uh, say new folder, test, create. I'm gonna do this here, select as repository destination. Uh, yes, I'd like to open this. Um, now you'll notice mine just popped up and worked very easily. Uh, the reason it did this is because I've already added a personal access token in here. Uh, normally it will pop up a little screen at the top little, uh, it will pop up a little box at the top of the screen here and say, please enter your username. Um, your username would be your GitLab username and then it would ask for your password. Instead of putting in your password, make sure you put in your personal access token.